Hello and welcome to the non Greg Sterless Greg Sterless show. Hey, hi. Except only the substitutes. I am your host, your host, the Pamazon. And uh, we have the co host, the co host. Hey, hi. <laughs> I know this is a very blue episode, but today is St. Patrick's it Day. Is so Patrick's Day, yes. I had to wear something a little green as well. <laughs> but, um, Can't you read the screen? Oh. Uh, What's it say? No, I can't read it. I have my glasses on. Oh, a blue? Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry. I <laughs> I did not uh, even... Uh, get memo. Sorry. Get no, memo. no one uh, told me about this uh, new development in that. But uh, I haven't been very Irish today anyway. All I ate was a bunch of Vietnamese food, and, and that's about I it. I so. pizza. That's, that's, that's yeah. good. P it was good. I got to have gluten-free pizza. I was so excited. Oh, and here we go. Here's our guest. <laughs> your man the nuts, nuts. Boy the nuts your back again. Nuts. I'm nuts. Back baby. <laughs> it's the nuts. <laughs> and here I thought your nuts were made out of uh, fool's like gold. And then we have a, a mystery guest in the background. Say hello, mystery guest. Hello. Oh, wifey guest. Right <laughs> oh hi, mysterious <laughs> guest. Oh, mystery wifey. Right <laughs> so all the wifey. blue, all the blue is to honor our previous. Um, Greg the show regular Blue Laser, who uh, passed away this week. So yes, um, very sad. It was very sad. Rip. He, yeah, Rip. He is a great guy. Um, we'll probably talk about him some. Like, um, for instance, all our all our little sayings that come up are from him. And then you know, I have this T-shirt because he had this great song about. Yes. Delivering pizza in space. In I'm, space. To, I'm heaving my bosom to show. There we go. There we go. And out, out of space. Out of space. Out of space. Space kitty cats. Space kitty with cats. With space pizza. With all, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, which um. Huh? So which we ate today. Which we ate today. Pizza, yes. For uh, How is gluten free pizza anyway? It was good. I was really happy oh, because. And my I have tomato pie is excellent. Yeah, yeah right. Really yes. It is very you excellent. Gluten free pizza. Right, they do have excellent gluten-free pizza. And I was super happy because I haven't had pizza for quite a while, for months. I've cheated, I'm not gonna lie and say that I don't ever eat gluten because I'm, I'm weak. <laughs> no, why can't you eat gluten again? I know you've explained um, it. it sucks. It's bad for you, but yeah, my doctor said to my doctors like, quit eating gluten, and I was like, fuck you, I like gluten. And then I, they convinced me to quit for a month, and then I ate some, and it made me violently ill, and I realized, you know, how much I was punishing my body. Oh, I didn't know it was that bad. I know it's this is about blue lizard, but I have a weird story about gluten. One time, this this girl, she was really rich. She 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 said she was from the West Indies. She drove up. I was walking down the street. She said, do you know where you can get sushi around here? And I said, uh, yeah. And then she's like, well, will you take me there? I'm like... Okay. And then <laughs> anyway, we get there and there she's got these dogs in the back. It's actually a really sad story. She said Aww. she was she was dying and she was just she she was oh really rich God. from a business she owned, so she was just traveling the world while she could and uh she just was with her dog, so I took her out for sushi and she, I just remember she said she couldn't eat gluten and I that's the first time I knew soy sauce had gluten in it and uh Yeah, it, yeah. It's very easy to get it. it without it, it tastes just the same, so Oh, that is a crazy story. Yeah, it was very strange. She was very nice. She said if she lived, she'd... Yeah, don't know what gluten is. Yeah, pasta's very gluten-y, yes. I did, I did not know that. Oh, pasta? I don't know wheat. much about gluten. <laughs> I don't uh, know. Well, wheat. Uh, it's like a wheat grains, protein. Anything with greens. There's gluten proteins in the greens. Yeah. It's, yeah. But. Yeah. It's shitty. It's shitty. That, that's the thing. It's shitty. But I like pasta. Well, you can eat it. You're just okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can just laugh at me and the mystery guest. <laughs> I would <laughs> never laugh at our mystery guest. That's so rude. I can't I'll even see her. her. <laughs> You'll never laugh at her. <laughs> you should, as we should not. So, does anybody I have any great blue laser stories? You got any? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. give us a blue laser story. <laughs> I got one if you don't, <laughs> but. <laughs> That's my dog, man. Uh, yeah. Y'all went into a show one time. And he was like, yeah. He was like, he was like, ladies and gentlemen, Rock Nuts just came in here to see Blue Laser. Wow, you performing? And I was like, hell yeah. Yeah. You know that. And I was like, can I jump in? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I jump in yes, of course. That would be your next response. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was sometimes a member of the 
blue laser group occasionally. Yes. I think he wanted to play with them like, like, like as the group group. He wanted us to join. I think. Oh okay. That's why he asked us, "Can we start playing like the, the shows, the last few shows?" And I went to that you didn't go to, but I went to. Oh okay. I don't know, I don't know what you ain't go for, but yeah, I'm like hell yeah. I don't. No. Uh, hell yeah! I hit the I, I hit the stage. <laughs> I was trying to arrange Blue Laser shows before he died for like about a year, and it's too bad it never came together because we I, I just we really I really want to do that, but but uh but yeah I don't know the story the things I have to say about Blue Laser like the first time uh, I saw him uh, I didn't know it's him until later I was at a mindless self indulgence concert and I was with my sister and we're like look at that guy in the in the blue Care Bear suit <laughs> and and my sister Sharon she's like that is so. I, I want I want to talk to that guy and I think she did I I, I don't know I should ask her but uh, that, that's my first uh, memory of Blue Laser and then uh, again you know I, I talked to him a few times but that was one of my happiest memories in California when I was out there and I wanted to see something from Buffalo that I was watching Blue Laser on Greg Sterlis and it was just oh. really cool you know it really uh it's like oh man and I was like that's the greatest thing I've ever seen and we watched it must have watched it like 20 times sitting in the mountains of California just uh. It's like wow, blue laser. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know that's what he was about. And we've seen him a few times live too, but I, I, I wish I knew him better. But you know, he still he still had an impact on my life, and, I, and I'd still really sad that he's gone. I wish I did get to know him better. Yeah, he was he was a nice guy. I mean, yeah. How about mystery guest? You got anything you want to say? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Tim. Tim. I, like I said, it is <laughs> memorial. He's like. Uh, and this is a, no, I'm not meaning to insult any of you, but he was literally the only human being I knew that I never, ever saw, like, get upset. He didn't have grudges with anybody. Like, he just, he was zen. He was, like, he was the zen master. Except for, like, Greg Greg said when he was on stage, he screamed and yelled out on stage. <laughs> but um, the story I told at the memorial about <laughs> when I first saw them, everybody's like, oh, Blue Laser, their me's amazing. It'll melt your face off. I'm like, hmm. First time I saw them, it did not melt my face off. I I didn't know what was happening. I was at any uh, nobody's and confused by uh, the nobody's. whole context of the show <laughs> and the weird lighting and people in weird costumes because it was a theme show. It was one of the infamous infringement theme shows. Oh, yes. Those are blasts. And I, I must have had the confused look on my face because he pointed at me and said, you little boy, come here. <laughs> and I... I gave him shit about that forever and ever because, yep, yeah. I know he's just a good dude. Like, he he never, he, he couldn't be unhappy around Tim. Yeah. You could be neutral, but, like, he wouldn't let you be unhappy. He showed up at my birthday party last year and sang happy birthday to me. Like, what the hell? It's Who does that? It's amazing. That is amazing. And as a, as a side note, since Blue Laser really loved infringement, um, you can still sign up for infringement. Whatever you do, you can do it at infringement, you know, as long as, you know, within reason, I mean. Yeah, within reason. <laughs> within reason. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've even added <laughs> workshops and educational stuff as a category. So if you want to have a space to teach people something in, you can do it. You can infringe it. So infringe infringe away. Org. Infringe away. You yeah. only have one month. You have one month left. To get, you have <laughs> yeah, one yeah, month to get your proposal in. I like one our uh, color you have till April Fool's arrangement day. here, no, by the way, too. That's it is a very nice color. color. Red, blue, and uh, green. Yeah. I like, I like our little... RG, we're RGB. Yeah. We're RGB on here. Uh, <laughs> RGB. RGB. Yeah, so RGB. I even asked him to come do karaoke at my birthday party, and he came. No problem. I got you. Came for free. I had to pay him, man. That's, that's my man. Right, yeah, he told me that too. Like he would host karaoke, and I was like, "Well, how, how much you charge?" He's like, "Oh, it's okay." I'm like, "You can't carry all your stuff there and not make a little something." I mean, you know. Yeah. So. And then he made me sing every karaoke song everybody else sung because it's my birthday. Like, you gotta stay up here and sing. <laughs> so he made you song. work. <laughs> I didn't even know the songs. I still was singing them joints. Did you go to the karaoke ever, or did you not get to it? You know, I think I did once, but I don't. I don't really remember. I think uh, I didn't do it, but I think I was there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't get to go as much as I wanted to because uh, I, I always wanted to. But uh, well, I, I just I, don't, I wasn't sure about one thing: is Blue Laser the band exists first, or Blue Laser the idea? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I think Blue Laser the idea, right? 
Yeah. I think I think it was like yeah, it was like his persona first and then the band. But we'd have to like clear that with Mike probably. That's a good question. Someone was talking about how he came yeah, up with it at a party. They all got their own names. Yeah. Like yeah. Blue Laser. Then it's then it's, you know Baloney or Tron. Blood, that's right. <laughs> is that Scatron? No, no, it's Sandman. Laser Man Sandman. Yeah, Laser Lobata Sandman. That's where he got that? Yeah, Sandman. Yeah. Then he switched it to Laser Lobata. Yeah, Laser Lobata. So they are, so he, he just blew Laser. Yeah. Yep. That's the best name, though, I think. Blue Laser? Yeah, Blue yeah. Laser. It is a sweet name, absolutely. Do you have any other nicknames? or? Uh, Well, I released all my solo albums under Captain Johnny Sausage. <laughs> And I'm about to release a new one. I was just recording it last night. If, oh, if, hype it, hype it. If anyone wants to look up uh, my solo stuff, it's all on Kept Records. You can buy it physically or you can download it for free. But, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah I, I would look up. I, I'm on a bunch of projects. If you want to sign my solo stuff, it's Captain Johnny Sausage. I'm also in Cyber Peanut. And I'm also <laughs> in Metallic Diaper and the Banu New Kazoo. You have the and best then, names ever. Well, what the yeah. hell? My, mine and Andy's uh, newest project, which is a collaboration. It's very vulgar. I'm warning anyone. The, the project we did oh, with, with my friend out in Oregon, <laughs> we recorded out in Oregon. It's called Slade and the Big Green Schwinn with our dear friend Slade. But that just released a new album that came out uh, a few days ago. You can get that on Captain Cook Records for free. And then um, I'm also on uh, Metallic Diaper. There's releases on there. There's, there's a lot of great stuff on there. I'm, I'm on a lot of releases on Captain Cook Records. If you ever want to look that up, everything's free for download. Oh, also next Friday is the Infringement Fundraiser at Mohawk. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, you can come on. Oh, also yeah. our mystery guest is... It's birthday her, it's, party. Yeah, it's their birthday if you want to find out who they oh, are. Baby's it's their birthday. birthday. Yeah. My birthday. baby's birthday. <laughs> No, Wait, whose birthday is it? Everybody's going to sing you happy birthday. There. I love it. Oh, it's Yay! your birthday. That's kind of oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't really think of a better way. Like, I, yeah, especially after you see fun. how people come together with the Infringement Festival, it's like a family. Like, I would rather be there than, I don't know. I would rather go on vacation, to be honest, but second sec, <laughs> second in the lineup is to spend it with infringement people. Yes, yeah. 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 Infringement, yeah. It'll be fun. Ca- hooked on Casio Phonics is playing all so year. We are, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy, you're back. Yeah. I'm back from vacation. That's my that's my day vacation back from vacation. Vacation all I ever wanted. I'm going to do it up. Da, 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 da. <laughs> give me a dance at the Who birthday, that? girl. That's close. Pull out a chair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pop my booty on her and stuff. Give her a little personal birthday dance. Stuff. Oh my god! Wow, wow, wow! It's getting hot joint. in here, so <laughs> let me take off all my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. That's that sound. <laughs> Cordell's <laughs> professing his undying love for me on the Greg Sterling show. <laughs> He's making it public. For sure. Yes, yes. You've heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Are you playing that show or no? You didn't where, hear it here which one? For, here first. What's your you next show? First on um, I know we've got one on April first for Greg Sterling's. All right, yeah, we're playing that together April 1st, son, which is also Easter. Mm-hmm. Like, what the heck? I didn't know. I'm Jesus like, is sure. back April Fool's. I know. I didn't know it was either. <laughs> oh, wow. Baby Jesus knows your PayPal. <laughs> Baby Jesus knows your PayPal. <laughs> Baby Jesus knows your browser history. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he knows your browser history. That's, yeah. that's another words of wisdom from Z- the blue laser. The laser. The laser blue laser. Laser. <laughs> the laser. Yes. The laser. Yeah, that's Thanksgiving or not Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Easter. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna miss we give all my family. To the uh, my family stuff. Oh, that's odd. That's what it is. You know, whatever. Whatever. Uh, Miss all my family stuff. The spur leg is more important. Yeah. <laughs> well, the night before, I have pudding show, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah pudding. Easter bunny coming. Were you playing with a uh, pudding? We're play- playing Milkies. Oh, nice. We're you playing Milkies. Before, the night before milkies. April 1st. I'm going to put it in my phone. Yeah, put it in your phone. There's going to be a lot of shit around Milkies. God. Oh, so you're playing on Saturday, Saturday. March 31st. Ain't no putting. Yes. That's Passover. So you're playing on Passover. Well done. Well done. <laughs> and cursed <laughs> Jewish. So well done. They, they pass well, over Schwartz the shit. isn't it's exactly really? un-Jewish either, but uh, <laughs> I found Passover. I found for one show I did was around that time. I found Passover plague masks for children. Are you, oh, really? Are you kidding? <laughs> no. Oh. And I handed them out to people. <laughs> Wait, so how Jewish are you then, fam? That's crazy. 
Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. I just always, I always found the Jewish people to be such an interesting. I, I always like, I like to read about it, like ancient Jewish history and just in the Middle Ages and stuff. I find them so well, fascinating. Well, my mom's maiden, my mom, my mom's uh, maiden name is is Roth, which is basically Roth, which is also Jewish. So. Oh uh, yeah, because like Rothschild. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know. I just love that sort of stuff. Jews are such a, they're such an interesting group. I was recently reading like a really uh, untranslated, like a a more per accurate translated version of Genesis and it's just so fascinating when you see all the little footnotes about ancient Jewish history at the time and stuff and it's just it's just really cool stuff. When you see how different it is then Mr. King James wanted you to think too. Oh definitely. <laughs> That's, That's definitely pretty changed. fascinating too. Oh King James wrote it for King James you know. <laughs> he wrote it for himself. Oh, that's I'm that's sure gonna he get did. people riled up. They're gonna come in. And, yeah, you're gonna get hate mail. Come in. That's They'll come in sweet. And get you. Three, two, two, one. Come in. I, <laughs> I like reading religious <laughs> texts though. I, I think they're interesting. <laughs> it's uh, like an, Jesus. There's always yes. some feedback at this number on the screen right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hail Satan. Say rock nuts. You want to talk to rock nuts? Saint nuts. <laughs> Saint nuts. It's a yeah. live number. <laughs> Saint nuts. It's not live. You stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Call in right now. Call in. <laughs> Blue laser hotline. Call the number on the screen. <laughs> yeah. I remember Blue laser would always like when it was French. It was almost over. He would always be like, "Oh no, it's almost over. I'm so sad." I'm we used so to call sad. it postpartum oh, infringement yes. depression. Yeah. 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 We we used to talk about that. Like there'd be a like two days after infringement, and he'd be like on Facebook, like, "Where is everybody?" Yeah. Can we all go somewhere and just pretend infringement's still happening? <laughs> Want to go to the town he or sit in it. the Holly Farms parking lot? Yeah. <laughs> he loved it so, so much. Meanwhile, everybody else had gone like into hiding because they're all stressed out and needed a nap. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm sleeping for a week because yep. I've played 16 shows in 11 days. <laughs> no, yeah. he never got tired of it. He never got bored of it. He never got sick of it. Are you, you good, Frenchman yeah. mascot? Yeah, he was. Are you going to enter any uh, of? You're going to enter to play, right? Oh what yeah, yeah, we're already entered book? for. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you can do literature. I don't know if you would how you would do that though. I mean, I would like to, but I don't know how I could no, do that. Want to read the comic book. Yeah, like, I got to go. get them printed up. Like I don't know. I don't. I don't want either. little kids coming oh, up and go. reading that. It's not particularly perverted, but there's a lot of. Uh, we have nudity. a poetry organizer. You nudity? just have to specify. There's a lot of dicks and poetry. boobs and stuff. Yeah, they, they won't put you at you know nothing like sexual but... out in front of a school or something. You know. No, oh, sorry. Yeah. Wait, what'd you say? I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were talking to me. I said that we have a poetry organizer. His name is Eddie Gomez. So you could put it in for spoken word poetry or other like that. Just make sure you indicate it's R rated. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's quite. Up to, I don't know if it's called. I don't know if it's that high class. It's kind of like Looney Tunes with like dicks. No, I've heard you read. I heard you read at the open mic at Spot. You could totally do infringement. Okay. You're in. Yeah, You're in. Do You're it. In. I would like people to read it though. Like if anyone's interested, just shoot me an email. I'd love to send it to anybody for free. Because uh, I'm still in the process of rewriting all. The, I'm re-lettering it. Like that's my main issue right now. But uh, I'm also working on issue two, which isn't colored at all. It takes place in India. I really like that one. And I did. I recently did a commission for my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite singers from California, Gabby Lala. She asked me to use the character in a, in a comic based off her song that to be released. She's going to release it with the single. It's called a Checkerboard Unicorn. That should also come up for free on Captain Crook soon because that one's actually done. Oh, cool. Yeah, she's really great. She's a great singer. I highly recommend her. She plays sitar, ukulele, theremin. She's played with Les Claypool, Buckethead. Wow. Guitar. Yeah, she's. What's a, her name again? Gabby Lala, if you want to look her up. Gabby Lala, okay. Her real name's Gabby Lang, but she goes by Gabby Lala. Lala she has a twin good sister. Too. Yeah. My sister's a twin. Twins are really weird. Your sister's a twin? Yeah, um, I have yeah. sisters that are twins. Oh, okay. She's a twin. No. I'm not a twin. She's a twin, too. Y'all look just like. Well, we do look alike. It's true. We look alike. But, um, yeah, I posted this picture of my sister, and I realized people are going to think it was me. And I said, this is not me. This is my sister. And still people were like, oh, Pam, you're looking good. I'm like, not me. People can't read the screen. People cannot read the screen. They just like to look at the pretty pictures. It's true. It's true. So, yeah. Um, but she has, they have, they're, I have sisters that are identical twins, and they don't, they won't watch the show, so they won't know what I say. But, <laughs> but twins are very, they're very odd. We used to play Pictionary, and they would always win. Like, they draw, one would draw a fucking line, the other would be like, you know, um, heart attack. And I'm like, you, just, you drew, a, that's all you drew is a line. Like, 
Yeah, they would. They must be like connected they psychically were. or yes, something. Yeah. yeah. And but one time, me and my cousin were like that too, and we beat them, and they were like livid. They were so <laughs> angry. No one had ever beat them at Pictionary. They were like, <laughs> 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 it was really hilarious. You ever see that weird place in South America with all those German experiments went on, and now there's just endless amounts of twins, and they're all blonde hair, blue eyed, and that's where one of Hitler's what? top scientists went to. Yeah, look no, it up. No, stop it. Really? No, it's really true. Yeah, look it up. Uh, I, the main guy who did all the experimentations, he there, there's proof of it. This isn't just some like weird crackpot theory. This is like there's genuine proof that. Well, I he, know I know about the dude that did the experiments, but you're but like this is crazy. This it still goes on to this day. Almost every birth is either twins or more, and they're all blonde hair, blue eyed. Wow! You can look. You can look this place up. I've oh, seen this. We need to call X Files and have them. It's check really it. disturbing. <laughs> call Dana Scully like right now. It's Dana. so creepy. <laughs> All my family's like that too. I've got so many twins and triplets that are my cousins and stuff. But, wow! Yeah. Well, I do know one of the uh, germ the Nazi scientists who did research on uh, Borrelia burgdorferi, which is what caused Lyme disease, was bought to the U.S. Um, and then we have. You know this explosion of really awful Lyme disease. So. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. Nazis are so like and, and they like put them on that island. What's that island called? I forgot. Oh crap! I should remember. But in the U.S. Tired. The yeah, it was off of Lyme, Lyme, Connecticut, and they thought oh. it was safe, but then birds were landing on the island and carrying off ticks and stuff. Oh, oh my crap. god. I'm actually learning something. There's a lot of, there were a lot of. Tonight. Yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> welcome to Conspiracy Talk with. Yeah. yeah. I like that kind of stuff, but a lot of it, like, um, the, there was a lot of Nazi scientists in the U.S., like, they just in the U.S. government hire, look it up, like, they, yeah, they, they don't were. deny it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, they it totally, yeah, that is totally true. They don't care what um, Nazis were doing morally, they just care because. They, they want the science. Yeah. I know, Plum Island, that's what it was called. I didn't have to look it up. Where Plum is Island. that? Uh, it's right off the coast. of. It's between New York City and Lyme, Connecticut, uh, okay. where uh, Lyme disease was first kind of... I didn't know that it was like a newer thing. Like, I thought it was old, Lyme disease. It was, but it wasn't like so... It wasn't that big a deal. ...destructive as uh, it used to be. It, like, not, as it is now, sorry. Your cousin died from Lyme? She lived in Connecticut, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, it does. It does. She went back. She moved here, and then she went back. She went back. Ooh. When she went back. Then she got. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Did it? What did it do? Neurologic damage or her heart? She did die. Yeah, it can get. It can die. go. Yeah. yeah, it can get your heart or, for me, it attacked my nervous system. So. And you had. It, that's right. Yeah. How was that? It must have been an awful experience. It was awful. And g tying back to Blue Laser, when I was super sick, I remember like getting up to sing karaoke, and I was so sick, and I was like struggling to function as a human being and go out and I'd always go out and be like am I gonna pass out tonight am I gonna you know like and then he was like oh the irrepressible Pam Swartz and that made me feel like oh okay I'm irrepressible so I can't give up I have to figure out what the hell is wrong with me yeah yeah, you do seem like the type of uh, lady who just like you. Just seem like you're very no, nothing stops you easy. You seem very <laughs> no. That's Amazon. That's why. Yeah. 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 Amazon. Yeah. Once you do, once you do this move right here, <laughs> it's a wrap. Look out! Once I do that move, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's stop. She's doing karaoke all night long. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am not like that at all. I, I give that up at a, at a right hat's drop. Everything. Oh, do you? A, not really. But. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, but I, <laughs> but if I, if I can't do something, I'm not just gonna. If it's too crazy hard, I'm not gonna do something stupid, you know. But uh, but uh, I'm not. But me and Pam like to dance when we do karaoke. Yeah, so yeah. We be doing it. We dance while we sing the songs. While we trying to read the songs off the screen. Because <laughs> <laughs> your cousin not get treatment probably. She probably couldn't get the proper well, treatment. Yeah, it's very it's hard. Early, you know, I guess. Like, yeah, yeah. What really was saying, like. Right. Yeah. Early on, there wasn't really. They didn't even know what it was. I so. was a teenager, so. I, you know, okay. I really oh, yeah, yeah. About it all like that. Like, it's crazy. Though. It is crazy. I'm gonna miss karaoke, like karaoke, blue laser karaoke. Oh, absolutely. I used to go, but I never sang. And here's a true story. I never sang karaoke a day in my life till last week. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was the first time I ever sang, and I sang Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. Uh -huh. yeah. And I went up on stage and sold like her. Yeah. I couldn't sing, and I was doing it for uh, on a dare for charity. Like, I made my excuses so that nobody would be like, you're terrible. I'm like, I already told you I was terrible. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. I would just go and stand and listen to him and yeah. everybody else. Like, yeah. that was the entertaining part of the night was every mostly, like, listening to him do stuff when he was, like, screwing around. But yeah. he could also really, really sing, which yeah, was awesome. Could. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. And he knew a lot of the songs in that joint. Yep. Yeah. 
Cause I'm like, yo, I don't know how to sing this song. I want to sing it, though. I can't remember how it go. I got you. Just follow my lead. All I used right. to love when he did it at Dreamland. Dreamland, dreamy karaoke. That was that was super fun. I actually yeah. got him that gig. Did you really? Yeah. Cause I only got a place to play. I was like, try Dreamland. Yeah, it was and fun. I, then Those I asked she was like, hell yeah. And then, Whoa. then, then they started talking and it became. Yeah, she was another person who was like, wait, what? When she saw the post that no one thought to. Oh, Dana? Yeah. yeah, I mean, there are people You know there's going to be people falling through the cracks. You yeah. knew there was going to be. I mean, there's just no other way around. You knew so many people, you know? There were a lot of people there today. I actually did not expect that room to fill up the way it did. It was kind I of... I didn't either. Yeah. I did, because a lot of people really were, like, heartbroken. Yeah, I wish I had a car. I would have gone. I, my, yeah. My, my dad dropped me off here today. Otherwise, I would have gone. Yeah, and it was all the way in... Kenmore, so it was like even farther than oh, nice. yeah where we are now too. Um, when when Andy first told me, he's like, "Dude, uh, someone died." And I was like, oh, "I think I thought he's gonna say, uh, you know, Stephen Hawking." And then he's like, "Oh, it's Blue Liz." I'm like, "What? Yeah, no. right, yeah." Except when people kept saying Stephen Hawking for that whole day, I kept thinking Stephen King. I'm like, "No, I like those <laughs> books." Well, it was like Stephen Hawking and Louis Slaughter yeah. and Blue Laser in the same I week. All these really great. Wait, I don't know that's Louis Slaughter. Who's that? I feel oh, bad she, because the Stephen Hawking thing went right over my she was head a she was a because I around here Tim had, I already had oh, heard okay. about Tim a good one and oh, then the oh, Stephen Hawking one. thing that's came out and I I didn't really give it any amount of attention I also didn't give any amount of attention to anything else really for like like th- that was the weirdest day ever within those twenty four hours like I literally sit and wait like an obsessed freak for any Harry Potter news to come out and they drop the new movie trailer the day that Tim died and I didn't watch it for like three days after that because I just I don't care like yeah. I mean I don't know how do you enjoy something when somebody you really really give a shit about is gone like I know and I still I still don't really care like I don't know I Tim I think his brother made a really good point at that memorial today maybe like I know you filmed it Pam I hope yeah. I hope that, that at least that part of his brother saying Yeah, there's only a couple times where the camera flipped out, which I don't know why it did, but it I did. hope this like gets out there. His brother made a good point of like us being there for each other and taking care of each other and taking care of ourselves too and I mean I think it's really important that, you know, we reach out to each other and I saw someone say the other day, Everybody expects us to reach out, but it's a skill that we're never taught. That's so like true. I think we need to start modeling how to reach out to each other. I and agree with that. Even if you even if like you have a little inkling that something might be up with someone, it, they're not gonna flip out on you for saying, Hey, what's up? You okay? You wanna get some ice cream? Let's They might flip out on you. I like ice cream. If yeah. you fl- if they flip out, then they flip out. But I'd right, rather know exactly. that they're okay than you know what I mean? Like I don't know, I just I think Tim leaves behind a message to all of us that we do need to check in on each other and care about each other and not worry about all the petty stuff, you know? Like, we get so caught up in the petty stuff. And meanwhile, you know, things are slipping away because time is short. Life is short. Yeah. So, yeah, check in on someone now. You never know. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, Send with someone hard, someone a Facebook message and just say, it. hey, let's get some ice cream. <laughs> unless they're lactose intolerant. Let's get some poutine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unless they're lactose intolerant. Hey, let's get some coffee. Yeah. Let's get some water. Something, whatever. <laughs> Yeah. That's safe. The vegans will like that. Let's get some water. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, vegan is, ice cream there. is really good. I got to admit, for anybody that's uh, vegan ice cream, it's re- I like. I like I it a lot. I don't. I don't really like ice cream. I don't like regular yeah, ice cream, but I like vegan ice cream because like, like ice cream's too sticky. Like but the like vegan sherbet. ice cream they make that of a uh, coconut milk, and I think oh, it's really good. That sounds good. Thank you for them, I, don't, I don't like ice cream that much either. It's all sticky. It's, I don't like that much sweet tops. stuff. Yeah, it's very sweet. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't drink soda at all. Like I think it's gross. No, I don't drink soda. Well, more pizza. Soda water. That's well, that stuff's great. That stuff is great. Yeah. Melted sugar yeah sherbet. oh sure <laughs> sherbet i like i like sherbet too but yeah I no no you it's just sorbet, never know. thank you check on people you give a shit about yeah yeah that's just a good policy in life you know i think I mean, I mean here's my little thing you know everything teaches you Call the media Texas teaches you to be selfish all the time but don't do it it's it's not the road to happiness right connections with stay safe friends <laughs> stay safe Love each other. Yes. That's right. Hit us up. <laughs> it's still on the screen. No, it just looked out. It just went off the screen. 
Oh, it did. Okay. 